Yuvaro. Hope you're well. So today is my video that I'm doing comparing Watch City Old Dominion versus Sutliff's Crumble Cake Virginia Preek. Uh, I don't know if I've got the tin around here. A second. Yeah. <coughs> the Watch City comes in bulk. Sort of Crumble Cake Virginia Preek. And the reason I'm making this video is a comparison, true comparison, of these two tobaccos. And the main reason is they are almost identical in the sense that both Sutliff makes Watch City's Old Dominion, and obviously they make their own crumble cake, their new preak. Watch City, as you know, is a they blend their own tobacco in house, fantastic blends, a big range uh, of in house blends. Um, but they get, as many people do, they get the raw tobacco from Sutliff. But the difference is, is that with their flakes tobacco or their cakes like this, the cakes are made by Sutliff using their recipe, um, what it says. And the reason I got a tin of this to try is because this is quite a hard blend to get. Sometimes it is out, out of stock, um, but also the shipping from here to the UK from Watch City, I think the cheapest rate they do, they don't do anything cheaper, it's like $24 for anything six ounces or less. Whereas obviously this I got from Smoking Pipes where you can get a tin for $4 shipped. Um, I think the tins are about $10, $11 there. So they're much more affordable than, than this blend. So if we open it up, so yeah, both Virginia Preaks, both have the same components. They're both a mixture of Virginia Preak and Cavendish. Personally, the Cavendish isn't that heavy in either of them. Um, it's more so, just kind of a, a company of the blend. So from the get go, you can see that the sort of crumble cake is, is more dark. See, this is Old Dominion. This is the crumble cake. I think it's more obvious in person that this is darker, but still, it's not much. As you can see, exact same texture and consistency. Um, yeah, well, like I say, they're made in the same factory. Very identical tobaccos, and this is the reason why I'm doing it in comparison. More so for people in, who don't live in the US as um, to get Watch City blends in the US, it's the same as ordering from anywhere. But for, but for here, us guys here in the UK and the rest of Europe, it's much harder to get. Um, but it's also just a good alternative and a com good comparison, hopefully. So yeah, got to prepare a bowl. I've got two pipes. It's my Radice Silk Cup Liverpool. It's my H Pipes Billiard. Both are well broken in pipes, uh, both haven't been smoked for a week, so it should be a fair and even comparison. So I'll come back once I have them lit. I'll get <coughs> right, so we're back. Bowls are filled with tobacco, each one. The Old Dominion was a little bit more wet than the Sutliff, so we'll dry that out for about five minutes and we're ready to go. So on the left we've got the Sutliff in the Radici and on the right we've got the Old Dominion in the H-Pipes. So I think we'll start with what I smoked. Not, not, not recent, but one I've smoked, I haven't smoked the longest because I had a bowl of this as I got it. I had a bowl of this I think, two days ago. This is a cruising parasol. 
getting lit from actual light. Come on. Straight away when you <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Straight away when you light up the blend. It's a nice kind of you you pick up the rev, didn't you? The kind of the uh, with rev, I always say kind of vinegar. You get that kind of note to it. Um, I have smoked some McLellan blends, which I do get the same. Um, obviously, if you do smoke McLellan's, as in previous to them closing down, you smoke them quite often, you know what I mean. But I get the same with all Red Virginias, um, and this one is the same. Tamp. Very smooth blend. Not harsh in any way just now. It's pretty you can taste it coming in, but the first time I'm, the first time I smoked it I felt you kind of needed the kind of let the tobacco burn and rest for a, a few minutes before the break really started to come through. But I would say It's an equally pretty forward blend as the old menu is. Tim Thompson says generous amounts of Perik are combined with black cavendish and a, and a variety of mature Red Virginias. This combination is then pressed with an old fashioned crumble cake to create vapor, a vapor of our stream. Yeah, again, it's one of those blends where there's black canvas in it, but you don't really taste the black canvas. It's more there to help it burn, help it blend together. I'm assuming it's unflavored black canvas. I'm not getting anything off the canvas. Very rich. It's got that kind of Virginia Perique. When a Virginia Perique is good, it can be two ways. It can be sweet or it can be rich. Or at least that's what I've found. And this is definitely a rich blend. But it does have the sweetness from the Candice. And Red Virginia. It doesn't say what the sugar content is, but most Red most Red Virginias I've I've tried so far, the sugar content's been up there. Not massive, obviously, but up there. Right, let's light up the old Dominion. Like I said. Very the color definition you can <coughs> just kind of make up there um, is darker, subtle than the old I mean, Maybe it's the way they've done the Virginias and that more perique, but I don't know. I don't. There is a there's quite a bit of perique in that, but there's not too much to where it would massively change color. I think some really nice red Virginias. Yeah, 
straight off <coughs> from the go. Not as much punch, I'd say. Not as kind of in your face. <clears throat> Instantly, what I would say is this is definitely, I think this would be the, the sort of a straight Red Virginia in the sense that they only use Red Virginia. Like the Old Dominion, I'm tasting a bit more kind of mixes. A brighter note coming through, a little bit more sweet so far. It's only been the first light. Both tobacco is very easy to light. Yeah, it's definitely brighter. But is it a good thing? Depends. You get Virgin and Periques that are darker, some of them are brighter. Depends what you want, I suppose. I quite like this kind of style. Almost got a bit more stoved. Much more rich and deep. Trying to get a pipe to not fall over. Take a drink. <clears throat> Some tea. Quite a good palate cleanser, actually, the in between smokes. I use, I only try and use this lighter now with this pipe as it's a natural finish. I don't want to try and minimise the charring to the room. I think Old Dominion was always known to have a lot of pre -cut. but compared to the Sutliff, it doesn't taste that way. Again, it could be because it's not as rich as the Sutliff. I did see um, <coughs> Watch City post maybe a month and a half back. It was like kind of a teaser post. They posted that photo of a, a tin. It was a plain gold tin. And it had kind of Old Dominion on it. Handwritten. Um, Sharpie. Black Sharpie. And kind of something else. Which I couldn't make out. But I'm assuming that's then potentially going to offer Old Dominion by the tin. I'm guessing anyway. Which would be good. I mean, again, for me, it wouldn't affect anything. Having my tin or bulk. But, for Adrian, obviously it would. Because, he, again, I'm assuming it will be in the exact same tin. Because it's made by Sutliff. So, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in the foot. Yeah, I'm assuming it will be the exact same airtight tin, which also is good for long term storage. But, yeah. Could be, I, I mean, I could be talking about my arse, I don't know. But 
I got that impression from the photo that it was a teaser of um, them offering that in tin. I'm assuming it won't be all their blends. I'm assuming it won't be all their blends they'll be offering tins. Um, I imagine it will just be the most popular. Let's just go forward. I think so. All right, let's go back to the sort of. Right, instantly more rich. Slightly, I don't know, it's got this rich sweetness to it. It's really, really pleasant, I'll be honest. Really, really pleasant. Because I would say this one has more preak, but then I could be talking to Mars again. Because this one, I, like, if you were to smoke this on its own, you can taste the preak. It's got the preak. I don't know if just because this is more darker that I'm tasting the preak more or just I'm thinking that in my head. I'm being honest, so far, I'm preferring this. I don't know, I, like, if you look at my tobacco rotation, I like something that's a bit more stove, bit more rich, bit deep, bit more deep. Old Main's got plenty of flavour. It's got a nice punch to it. But for my part, personally, so far, this is the old front. Obviously, the pipe is the same pipe. It's a side by side. So that, that could give some difference. But I have, but the reason I chose these pipes is because I have smoked each blend in each pipe. So I know the difference. That it wasn't much, if anything. Both these pipes, I'd say, are, e are equally broken in. Although I think this is still probably my favourite pipe. <coughs> the weather today has been horrendous. Pour it down all day. Um, I was in the car about half six. It's also dark here now, by that time. Um, I was in the car, driving back. And the first time in a long time, I had my windscreen, my windscreen wipers on full. Right, just horrendous rain. Floods everywhere. But I went through about five on, on my way home. But that's what you come to expect here. To be honest, I don't mind the rain. Don't mind it. What I would say is, potentially, there might be a video in the car tomorrow. Um, I've been swamped from the last two weeks, really busy, every day, day and night. But I fancy kind of a drive, get up to Bushville Glen, Devon, maybe about a 25 minute, half hour drive. Um, for me, <coughs> it's a really nice curve. It was through a, through a valley, very autumnal. That's the point. As I'm not, I didn't go last year because of COVID. Um, just didn't work out time wise. So I thought 
I'm still swamped under for the rest of this week. I thought tomorrow morning we can get them pretty early. Should be able to go and have a little drive. Walk up maybe. So it could be <coughs> a video from the car. Maybe um, I can use my, my, my dash cam for the footage. Um, or maybe it'll be a short video on my walk. I'll have to see. But it's a really nice area. Really good road. Nice twisting roads driving up. But the caveat is I won't be going if it's poor rain the same as today. It's meant to, but <coughs> have to see. Right, again, back to Old Dominion. That's from T, Fletcher Park. Although, well, if I'm being honest, I really like the, the, the that sort of I really like it. I was watching Mike from Briar Blues. He did a, a great, he did a really good video today. Kind of talking about like pipes and kind of the sense of what's your preference, what works for you, about how you might. <coughs> sorry about this. You might like, you might prefer a twit. A 20 mil chamber by a pipe which is no more than say five inches long and it's less than 40 grams. Like everyone's kind of, <clears throat> everyone's kind of got their sweet spot. And for me, it's just. I can't remember the weight of this. Very light, I think. <clears throat> Apologise for this. I think probably under. Maybe 41 grams, but weigh about 42 maybe. Well under 50. Um, I think I checked it was a 19 millimeter bowl. I think that's my sweet spot, 19, 20 mil <coughs> drill chamber. It's not too deep a bowl. It's the only thing I would change about this billiard is it's a proper old school billiard bowl where it's about I'd say should I do it to me? Um, where is it in inches? Yeah <clears throat> I say it's only a two inch deep bowl. Which for me I say Around the 1.2 to 1.5 range. That's my sweet spot. Because I'd say I smoke about a pipe a day. Don't necessarily smoke massive bowls. It depends on the blend and the time I have, if I'm being honest. I take those pipes there at the back. On the right is a LCS Briars. I'd say, I can't remember what it was. I think they're 20 mil. Well, perfect pipe for me. And on the left, I think it's 21. So, uh, the grade of this pipe is absolutely gorgeous. I think I've showed this before in a while. Good side of the base. It's amazing. Just gonna focus. One bow. Come on, man. It's a bit better. Really nice green wraps around. But only thing I'm not that doesn't draw me to this pipe all the time is the weight. <clears throat> I'd say it's up there, kind of 55, maybe 60 grams, because it's a big, it's a proper brandy, it's a big bowl. You can see the boy it there. Big old boy. So I'd say that's all the downside. 
that pipe that makes me not go for it as often is the weight in that. Apart from that, that is a rich dark flake machine. Let's go wise. <coughs> it's more of a kind of an armchair pipe, you would say. Kind of like to sit back on kind a of Friday or Saturday night. Just relax. With a good bowl of rich dark flake. So have to be coming up for I don't know how long over a year now, I think pipe smoking. Definitely my top three blends that's in Rich Dark Flake. <clears throat> be honest, it's tricky. Both up. It's the thing. I prefer the Sutliff, okay? Slightly more. Very similar. Very similar. This one, the old way and tastes more, I say, refined and balanced, but then again. It has got five months, almost six months of age on it. But actually, pretty much six months. I remember I got that at the start of June. No. It's the fifth from the top of May. <laughs> I got that at the start of May. So it's almost six months old. So that will be part of the reason, is it? Whereas, combo cake. Picked it up, well, I arrived last week, but wouldn't be surprised if that's a fairly new tin compared to that. What I will say is the preak in this is picking up massively now. So those blends where you, as you smoke through the bowl, it really picks up and comes into its stride. Right, Christ, I've been talking for a while. Right, I'll pause it here and I'll come back towards the end. These bowls are, again, they're not massive bowls. I don't fill up two full bowls. I'll come back once we're finished, okay? I'll give you my final thoughts. Right, we're back. Just finishing the lychee and the, the sort of crumble cake. So, what do I think? Being honest, there is a, the slightest difference. And to me, that is it. They are two fantastic blends. But if I've got to choose one, I'm actually choosing the crumble cake. To me, for my palate, you may be different. It's a slightly richer, it does have sweetness. I think it would be the Cavendish, although I think there's a lot of Cavendish. Um, def it definitely brings the blend together nicely. Uh, it does add a little touch of sweetness. Perique wise, definitely there. Um, It's not Perique Overload, but if you like Perique, you'll enjoy that. Old Dominion, really nice tobacco. Slightly brighter. I definitely think there is a mix of red and, say, yellow and brighter Virginias than just the red Virginias that claim to be in that. I think that, definitely. Also, I think you can tell that by the colour too. Um, there might, might not be any stove Virginias in that, but if there's not, then it's definitely just a pure, nice, dark Red Virginia. Definitely both have your, when you open it, open the tin or <coughs> open the jar, you have that Red Virginia vinegar in it. Um, don't, again, don't taste it in the blends, or at least I don't. Um, just, <coughs> just in the aroma. 
But yeah, <clears throat> if I've got to be honest, very similar. If you're in the UK and you're struggling to get your hands on Watch City or you just don't want to pay the price for the shipping, um, if you can get your hands on the crumble cake, it is a great alternative to tobacco. Fantastic. Well, I prefer it. I prefer the crumble cake. But like I say, they're both made by Sutton at the end of the day. <clears throat> it's pr probably pretty much the same tobaccos. Like, well, it'd be the same, exact same tobaccos that I wanted. Just there might be a slightly different casing or it'll, or it'll be a different ratio of this to that. But like I say, presentation, exact same. Components are the exact same. Virginia, Perique, Cavendish. Although <clears throat> Crumble Cake will have I think just straight Virginia's, whereas I do believe, not sure, <clears throat> I'll have to check after, but this does just have, a, this is a mix. But yeah, <clears throat> very nice. Bit of a <clears throat> stark contrast from previous. Never used to be a big fan of vapors, slowly got into them, and they're really, it's one of my mainstays of tobacco. And I quite enjoy this cut too. I prefer just a classic flake. Um, most tobacco I smoke is, is a flake. I will say, Watch City are making some really nice blends. I do want, I think I do want to try more. One of my favourite blends, just here again. I changed the label in the jar. It's Watch City. Stardust. <coughs> it's a blend, you would call it kind of aromatic um, English um, because of the Cavendish in it, because of the black Cavendish. It's definitely sweet. It's a very sweet blend, but it's fantastic. Such a nice smoke. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people compare it to the Northwoods um, by Boswell's. I've, I've never had that before. So I, I could compare, um, but a, a lot of people say they are similar. Again, Boswell's is again one of those companies that I would like to ship to order from, but I know the shipping is going to be expensive. Um, and I believe that their price kind of per ounce is more than, a lot more than what City is. That is the thing, their prices for the tobacco is good. Per ounce is, it is very good pricing, but the shipping for Obviously, for anyone <coughs> outside <coughs> of the US, is letting that down. But kind of, I say, after comparing these two, I would buy more Old Dominion because it's a again, it's a nice blend. Again, they're very sim very similar. Probably the two most similar blends I've got in my whole rotation of about 30 tobaccos but I would prefer that and the, what I would say is because I love this blend so much I would order just this and pay the shipping for just this get extra maybe get six or, six or eight ounces of this <coughs> instead of getting say four ounces of stardust and four ounces of old domain but that's me everyone's palate will be different but my advice is if you don't want to, if if you were <coughs> interested in trying Old Domain, but you can't get your hands on it, then that is a great alternative. I will end that there. Bit of a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Good comparison, I think. Probably, the, probably one of the most accurate comparisons you could have, largely being that, I'll be honest, I think they are pretty much the exact same blend. Just slight differences. But yeah. Hope you, got, hope you guys have a good one. And I'll catch you on the next one.